Get your message out to over 2 million homes. Call Positive Promotions at 302-292-3994 or log on to our website at posprotv.com. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome back here. You like this, don't you? <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, to Jennifer. Tom. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong call. Yeah, yeah. Don McNeil, how are you? Very good, Tim. Yeah, Very long good. time no see. I mean, yeah. you've been out there, going all over. Before we get into talking about where you've been and everything, let's reintroduce and talk about the game. Uh, you've been sentenced. Uh, you might have saw it here. Uh, if you live locally, we ran actually ran a game show there for a while. That's right. It? And. Uh, didn't work out real well with the game show. The game did extremely well. The game's so, done great, and we, well, we need to talk about redoing the game yeah, show in yeah, the right format. That, that, yeah, I think well, we can yeah, come up yeah, with it. Yeah, and, and that's what we've been talking about, and, and bringing it back and changing things up. But what's happening right now with the, the game itself? And, and well, the game of You've Been Sentenced, it, it really is the first game to turn language into a fun, playable game. And boy, Tim, we have just had such success with uh, winning all kinds of awards. We've won an Oppenheim uh, Gold Award. We won iParenting Media Award. We won uh, a uh, Dr. Toy Award, and all those awards are for fun. Right. But to top it off, the response from teachers has just been incredible. I mean, we have a, a teacher from Vero Beach uh, who's quoted up on our website that uh, he was actually able to reach some kids that he had not been able to reach uh, as a language arts teacher uh, until he played this game with them. And this one boy literally walked out of his classroom with his head held high for the first time saying, Mr. Flint, I can make a sentence. And boy, I tell you, that just about put me to tears. But uh, the game itself, I and mean, we were now in Barnes & Noble and Borders Books nationwide. And uh, we also were, uh, we've got 70 Cause reps now. Because we want to talk about it just a little bit. It's not just a game. I mean, it's, it, it goes way beyond being just a game. It's an educational tool. It, yes, it, it is. It, and that's why we're, you keep reflecting back to different teachers using it and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a great at home sitting down with your friends oh, and playing. Yeah. But Throw in a six-pack of beer or a bottle of wine. I'm not responsible for the sentences you come up with. Right, but, uh, right, right. But it's a lot of fun at, at, at the home. But uh, taking it to that educational level, and we've talked about it many a times. I mean, yeah. a lot more pe schools and districts are even utilizing it. Yeah, we have schools buying from us directly all across the country. Yeah. And... Uh, it's, it's just been phenomenal. It's, uh, we, uh, we were going to launch the online version of the game of You've Been Sentenced coming up in August. And uh, that's another thing we're really looking forward to. Um, we just signed a license agreement with Reader's Digest. Uh, Reader's Digest five years ago started a, uh, a challenge called the Word Power Challenge based on their Word Power segment in their magazine. And this Word Power Challenge is very similar to like a spelling bee, but kids have to learn vocabulary words and know the definitions. And it's a big deal. Al Roker comes in as the MC, and he does the, the whole thing uh, down in Florida. And they literally they hold 50 state championships. And then Reader's Digest flies in all these kids down to Florida for the big right, national right, championship. Right. And we went down there, and we gave away games. And at the same time, uh, we've now signed this license agreement. We're going to do a Reader's Digest Word Power Challenge add-on deck to the game of You've Been Sentenced, which will be hard vocabulary words for kids to use in the game. Yeah, so. well, you know, and that's another, there again, educational person signing on to this, and, it's, and that's what it's all about. And I, I think that's our show today. It's based <laughs> on education, right? You know, because uh, everybody here is, is kind of related to that. We'll get to that as we go on, Bear. But well, except what's, for me, yeah. You, know, you said online. You got an online version coming out and everything that people are going to be able to get on and play yep. the game a little bit. And everything. But right now, there is an online. Uh, you guys have a website. Yeah, that the website is is McNeil Brighter Minds. It's M C N E I double L Brighter Minds dot com, and uh, there you can see uh, both of our award winning games. We have a second game out called Twisted Fish, and it's doing very well also. I was going to say, uh, that's Martin. You know, and he yeah, had, Martin Uniac, yeah, the, the president of the company, the, the former host of the TV game show. Yeah, but he had a, you know, he had a game show name, host, name. That's the only reason he got the job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Martin Uniac. Somebody else yeah. use his name. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, but but he, he, he's uh, doing well because he came up with the Twisted uh, Fish. Twisted and that's, Fish. That's out there. It's kind of a take on uh, Let's Go Fish. or It's similar to Go Fish, except for that it's much more challenging to play, whereas Go Fish is a kid's game. Now with Twisted Fish, you have to be very specific about the, uh, the type of fish that you want to ask for and also the color background. Right, and so it right. makes it much more challenging because you've got to memorize who's asking for what all the way around the right, table. Right. makes it a great memory game. Yeah, so it's got a lot great of challenging. Just, you know, and, 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 and <laughs> Up there, until a point. <laughs> and there again with the online stuff that's coming out and everything because everything's high tech now, so you've got to have that and all. And, uh, and Twisted Fish is already uh, going to be put out online as well uh, come August. That's already been done. As a matter of fact, 
Uh, with Yubin Sentence, we couldn't develop AI or artificial intelligence where you actually have a, a computer to compete against you. Right. But with Twisted Fish, we could create the AI, and, and we did. And right now, for our testing, we've got six artificial intelligence players competing against each other. That's how the game's being tested, so we can figure out the bugs. Oh, they, they, they <laughs> doesn't even exist. need, doesn't even need human exist. involvement anymore. Yeah, well, that's what, it seems like everything's getting out of way. You know? <laughs> Just go back and push the button. But what's coming up next? I mean, what's the hottest thing outside of, you know? Uh, you know? Well, uh, we are in discussions with uh, Merriam-Webster as well to do a, um, a couple different add-on decks that will be called Odd Hard Word Add-on Decks. As well, Merriam-Webster wants to do the game in Spanish and do a full-blown Spanish version of the game and, for the first time, a Spanish-English translational version. Right. So that so it's, it's getting fun, out there. It's, it's, uh, congratulations. Yeah. Now, this is a one on right, everybody that's watching this. It's a Delaware inventor that invented <laughs> a game. So it's a Delaware manufactured and all that. So it's our first, really, uh, board game that's gone national or worldwide, I should say, now out, out of the state of Delaware. Unless somebody else wants to challenge that, I guess. <laughs> but I believe that's, that's the way it is. We'll officially check into that, Kevin, while we're on break, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah well, Don, lots of luck to you. Once again, it's McNeil Design. M McNeilBrighterMinds.com. And then more information, Daps always puts it up there. Thank you for coming yeah. by. Keep us no, up to date on what's me. happening. We'll keep you up to date on the website that you go to and play the game when it comes out. But right now, we've got to take a quick commercial break, and we'll come back right after this. Big hand for Don. Thank you very much, sir. To find out more about the Tim Qual Show and other positive promotion productions, then log on to our website at www.pazprotv.com. <laughs>